Welcome to Archaeotech Assimilation, where we discover and investigate the technology of the Imperium and the tools of chaos. Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Archaeotech Assimilation. My name is John and today I'm joined by Shane. Hello mate. Hi, how are you going? Good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Thank you, not too bad. Mm. All right, so we weren't too sure what we were going to get from Warhammer Plus this week, was we? No, we don't, weren't sure what was coming down the, down the pipeline. Um, uh, there were a few bits on there. But, uh, oh, yeah, that's that good. Quite good. Yeah, mm. and, uh, it's not just what my background is, uh, is giving away. Mm. Uh, there was also uh, new lore masters uh, for yeah. Nagash and um, a Kill Team Battle Report. Yeah, in the um, Angels of Death Blood Angel style. Yeah, it was indeed. Um, I don't know if you've watched either of those two bits as well. Not yet, no. I I have, um, and it was it was good. Like the, yeah. uh, I think that the, the the kill team. I'll touch it very briefly before we get into mm. the animation side of it. But I like the the narrative idea behind the kill team to to right. play along as the the angels of death. I thought that was a really clever way of doing it, and the battle mm. was 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 yeah brisk and entertaining. So I thought that was really good, and then. Law Masters, I actually, I really like this episode because um, back many years ago when I played both 40k and uh, Warhammer Fantasy, as it was then, um, I played Undead and the Gash was, uh, was like one of my favourite characters. So this being his, uh, like his, his delve into it and what he's like now in, uh, in Age of Sigmar was, was quite interesting. So. Uh-huh. If you are a fan of the uh, obviously the the old school, Nagash is one of the oldest, so well worth a listen mm. in that regard. So I, I thought those bits of content were good anyway. Oh, right. Aside from this, which is obviously what we'll talk about. Yeah, I might I might give it. I've got uh, a long night ahead of me because I'm mm. going tonight, so I might try and watch them both uh, after this. Um, yeah. And then I think we're getting the next part of uh, Angels of Death starting next week. Ah, excellent. So, so the, uh, the the summation or the other half of the series, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, but um, Games Workshop or Warhammer, they've pulled off a bit of a blinder and given us um, a star tease. Um, so obviously, I imagine if you're watching this, you've probably seen the original the sort that was on YouTube until mm-hmm. Warhammer Plus came into existence. Um, and it looks like they've obviously, we've got the 13 or so minutes full animation on Warhammer Plus. And it looks like they've cleaned it up a little bit as well. I, I think into it. there is a bit of upscaling and mm. there was a bit of uh, concern, I think, before this had happened. And I think you'd still find it on YouTube, yeah. like the before and after versions where they put the Games Workshop one side by side with the original. And they're, they're supposed to be making it better. And actually, they haven't. But on viewing this, it, yeah. it, I, I think those fears are, are ill-founded. I, I thought it looked, looked very, very sharp. Well, seeing as the creator is working with them. I imagine he was working on this. So if they've just um, given him a bit more, I mean, I don't know, but they've probably given him a bit more of a budget and said, this is what we want to do. And he's worked, obviously he's not, he's worked with him. So he's given them permission. So he must, he must be happy with it. You'd like to think. Yeah. So, yeah. You'd hope so. Yeah. Uh, and they actually come out with a bit more information. Cause obviously it was all, I remember when we first started the channel, it was like, well, who are these space Marines? And, Nobody knows, but they've they've given us a bit of a name and a bit of a loose background. These guys are called the Retributors, mm-hmm. and um, they're still like we don't know their original founding, but we know where they are. There, um, there's I think they've released a bit of um, uh, more information, like a tiny bit of lore about them, to so say that they like to operate out on the sparse edges of Imperium space, conducting the, fast the... attacks with small units. That's right, the, east, the eastern fringes. So um, I, rem- I remember when it first came out on YouTube and people were looking for it and stuff like that. And the guy that actually created it at the time, he put some law on his Patreon page. Right. Um, so it's on Patreon. Um, and it's that part hasn't been endorsed by Games Workshop yet. But from oh, right. his law that he originally wrote and whether that stays canon, we'll, we'll find out. Mm. Is exactly that. They are the retributors. Apparently they are descendants of the Imperial Fists. Oh really? Um, which would make sense with the the their their the kind of chapter iconography. Yeah. Um, they're fleet based, and as you said, they they work 
uh, operate primarily along the eastern fringes as uh, shock assault and high high risk targeting mm. um, in small self sufficient units, um, and that this is an impulsor squad apparently. Right. Um, and what's the other bit I found quite interesting? They do have a name for the chapter master, but no further law. So the okay. chapter master apparently, well, this is the old law, is called Augustus Vantor. Right. Um, but no further information on him. And uh, they are codex compliant, I'm reliably informed. Ah, very nice. Cool. Right. So, like I said, everyone's probably seen it. But if you haven't, we'll do what we do anyway. We'll uh, go through the, the story. Uh, with a few photos, talk about what's happened, where and when, uh, and then right at the end, we'll obviously talk about what we like about it, what we don't like about it. So take mm -hmm. this as your spoiler warning, uh, and we'll dive in. So, um, I really like, by the way, I really like this. I liked it the first time. I like the fact that they've sort of cleaned it up. It, I think it looks really good, um, yeah. nice and clean. So the opening few shots... Uh, we see some Astartes um, command, on the command ship looking at holograms of the sort of system they're in. Uh, we get a nice action shot of some Astartes heading towards the boarding vessel. Um, and um, you can see like the Imperial soldiers trying to squish out the way up against the wall, um, looking a bit Star Warsy. Uh, and then there's uh, an Inquisitor um, blessing his weapons. Um, as in that first picture, the boarding craft is quickly deployed. Uh, with a squad inside, and we get a really good uh, cinematic shot of the front of the ship as it navigates through an asteroid field, increasing speed, and penetrates the enemy ship. Uh, once inside, uh, through the smoke, we get a view of the enemy positions, uh, looking through the lens of the Astartes, which highlights where the enemies are hiding. Uh, they emerge from the mist and start blasting straight away, uh, and the enemy leaders are then revealed um, as they direct their infantry to defend against the Astartes. They are tall figures in sort of armoured looking cloaks and golden masks, and they're revealed to be guarding a large spherical vault. Um, our Astartes begin clearing corridors, and there's an enemy hiding sort of in the walls and piping uh, with some sort of high velocity machine gun. He tries to mow them down, um, but is unsuccessful. <clears throat> um, the sergeant um, of the Retributors is marching behind a wave of infantry down the corridor who just get completely evaporated by um, a gun position from across a huge void. He stands, takes a few of the rounds uh, before firing his plasma pistol back uh, across and just taking this position out. Uh, the squad converges on the enemy leaders eventually uh, and sort of surround them before laying down gunfire. Um, you have these two guys from above shooting down, and we discover that they are psychers who managed to stop the bullets um, mid-flight. Uh, the sergeant charges to go in for close combat, and as he does um, leap for the final sort of uh, attack, he's caught mid-leap by uh, a psychic energy, um, and he's sort of held, and you can just see the pressure build as one in his uh, visors as blood pops, as if one of his eyes has popped. Uh, and luckily for him, another Astartes closes him from behind, kills one Psyker, and then uh, the sergeant is able to kill the one that's holding him in the air by stabbing him in the neck. Uh -huh. uh, the vault uh, gets recovered, I think. It looks like it sort of gets recovered back to the Astartes ship, uh, held in a large chamber. And, and this Astartes commander uh, and a guy in a beaky helmet um, are sort of watching it while the, an inspector... Uh, Inspector, Inquisitor is hooked up and um, appears to be sort of studying it. Uh, our original squad of Astartes, I believe it's not clear, but I think they go inside this vault. Um, and as they're walking through, they come across uh, this big um, silver, uh, gold figure, obviously yeah. uh, my colours, uh, laying down on um, a platform and they walk through and find a big floating orb. And as they approach it, the word Astartes uh, emits from it, turns black and sort of emits these psychic waves trying to slow them down. Um, they manage to get close up. They stab these reading devices into it, uh, mm -hmm. feeding back information to the Inquisitor, who's hooked up to it. He see, starts seeing dark visions and whisperings um, and has a bit of a seizure before turning and screaming at the commander, who swiftly punches his head clean off, uh, and the other dude shoots him for good measure. Um, the Astartes with the orb are then slowly sucked into it, um, 
and the sergeant fires his plasma pistol into it, which backfires as his arm gets melted off uh, and is ultimately pulled into the darkness where he sees visions of his squad attached to some sinister looking um, deity uh, very briefly before appearing on a planet's surface. He removes his helmet and sort of throws up some blood and goo, stands up in a valley of giant skeletons sat on thrones. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that uh, concludes Astartes. Yeah. So, very good. Uh, absolutely. Like mm -hmm. uh, I said, for a lot of people, this might have been, you know, one of the one of the things that you saw out on YouTube from an animation, Warhammer animation point of view anyway, widely sort of lauded and rightfully so. Yeah. Um, obviously, there's, there's, you know, various bits and pieces, thoughts and feelings in the community about whether or not it should be, you know, still on YouTube. Um, I don't think we need to go into that, but um, I think just from a creative point of view, this is well worth watching again and again and again because it's it's excellent. Um, there's a lot of questions, um, stuff unanswered questions that you just ne we're, ne we're never going to get the answer to right now. Like we know you know, that now now that obviously it has got Games Workshop backing and potentially yeah. funding, it does mean the creator. Um, potentially has the opportunity to expand this story and, and take it further, like answer some of those questions, or maybe just move on to, you know, new new narratives, new creations. But I, either way, um, yeah, it's, it's incredible. It really gets across the uh, the kind of power and efficiency of, uh, of an Astartes. So yeah. I think that's I think that's what I liked about it. It's like even even the bits where they're like you know they're held in. Um, like held back by this psychic um psychic force from from the two their their high risk targets that they're going for you yeah. just get the sense of the uh the determination and will to uh stab these dudes in the head <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so it's good <laughs> very entertaining yeah and and also like even even the stuff like you know the i think the little bit that it leans into like where the inquisitor is clearly corrupted and they're like there are no time for questions here as you said we're just going to punch your head off and yeah. then shoot you just to be safe you know there's no room at all for like, oh we might have come out of it it might have been a fit it might have been someone else and we can find out no no that's it you're dead you're done yeah there is no messing around it's, it's very entertaining no well i mean imagine that like the amount of horror films where they give someone a bit of a chance to go, we might get over it, and it never ends well for the crew, especially in space. So sensible leadership, I think. Brutal, but sensible. Yes, indeed. And I think um, didn't when all obviously all, all the animations were announced, they said the starties too, didn't they? I, yes. so yeah, 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 I think I'd so. I'd like to think we're going to find out a bit more, like what, what planet this guy has been sort of teleported to. and If, if, if it's a planet. Like we don't know, yeah. like it could be, you know, it could be somewhere in the warp. It could be a realm of chaos. It could be, mm -hmm. could be anything. And when he came out, obviously we only saw his face briefly. And I was half thinking maybe it's just the sort of wear and tear of going through what he's gone through. But he didn't look too healthy. I don't know. Maybe has he been corrupted? I just, I don't know. Because he looked, think... he looked pretty rough when he came out. Yeah. I don't know. It could, could. Could be, could well be. Like, yeah, be. But, 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 uh, yeah, I mean, all possibilities are open, right? Yeah. But I think, um, personally, I think they bet they've cleaned it up. It looks good. Like, it was nice and bright, so you can sort of pick a bit more detail out than mm -hmm. previously. Um, and, I mean, we, we it was good before they did this, so we can only say good things. I think it was, it's yeah. a nice bit, fan animation. Hopefully he's... Um, Got a good payday for his effort as well. I, I hope so. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and I hope um, he gets the opportunity to sort of be in charge of whatever comes next. Maybe a bit yeah. of the right guidance, so to speak. Mm. Yeah. No, absolutely. No, but yeah, I look forward to I look forward to the start is too, regardless. Yeah, definitely. As I said, <laughs> it's it's yeah. There's only so much praise we can heap on it, right? It's yeah. very good. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like you say, what else can we say that hasn't already been said? So, we'll uh, we'll uh, wrap up um, quickly. Please Google us at Iron and Ceramite. 
join us on Instagram. If you like the video, please um, hit the like button and share it. We've obviously been reviewing um, almost all, well, all the animations from uh, Warhammer Plus. So if you uh, are sort of on the fence about watching any of them, go and check out our reviews um, in the first instance. And obviously all the other stuff we've got on the channel, we mm -hmm. highly recommend. It's good stuff. Um, mm -hmm. If you want to watch um, the battle report between the Necrons of Shane and my Death Guard, go and check that out. That's up on the channel now. Um, we're on Facebook, Twitter, um, Obviously, if you want to listen to our hobby podcast with the other guys, that's obviously on the channel and wherever you get your podcasts. Twitch, Patreon. If you want to go and do a bit of shopping, uh, a discount for all your hobby stuff, Element Games, use our code uh, and no extra sort of cost to you. And let's get uh, Element Games know that we sent you and we'll get a bit of uh, a kickback for that to put any money we receive. We're going to the channel to make everything look prettier. Um, and combat cards, go and play combat cards, download the app and join our clan. See if you can um, get between Shane and Glenn and their um, fight for supremacy. Indeed. Unless you've got anything else, we'll say goodbye. No, that was everything. As I said, good episode. Well worth checking out. Awesome. See you later. As always, we would like to thank you for listening to our Iron and Ceramite podcast. If you liked us, then you can also find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and any other good podcast services. Just remember, in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war.